Hi everyone, so today I have uh, something new and fun to share with you guys. Uh, I was recently contacted by Craft Stash um, to see if I would like to review some of their exclusive line uh, products and also uh, they were offering a giveaway for my subscribers. So um, the items I'll show you right now were sent free of charge for my review and of course all opinions are my own. And I'll get you the info for the giveaway and of course that all will be linked in the description box. The links will be affiliate links which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items to those links. But I have some exclusive um, ranges to share with you guys and if you know anything about Craft Sash, they are based in the UK. They have uh, lines that they create and then they also sell you know all these other different companies, Sizzix, you know a hunky dory, Crafts Companion, Heartfelt Creations, I mean you name it they pretty much have it there on site too. So today I have some new items in from again some of their exclusive ranges, we'll talk about that in just a second. As far as the giveaway they are going to offer a $35 giveaway. Uh, the link will be in the description box, what you'll do is just click on that and pop on over and you'll have the info there so they're offering the giveaway for my subscribers and they're handling all that kind of stuff. So uh, the entry period um, begins now is when you Excuse see me. this. So it begins now until Sunday, August 14th at closes at midnight and that is British uh, summertime. So that would be uh, roughly 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time um, on the 14th here in the U.S. Okay, so uh, that'll all be there and in the information that they uh, have whenever you click the link and pop over if you would like to enter the giveaway. So thank you so much Craft Fest for offering that. That's really, really fun. So what I'm going to do right now is show you some of the lineups and then I'll do some reviews separate from that. Okay, so coming up, but let's see. So I am going to grab... Okay, these things look like they go together. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So there are a few things from textures. Let me let me pull out just the stuff from textures, and I'll be right back. Hey guys. So the first few items I picked up are from this uh, line called Textures by Lou Collins. So again, designed by Lou Collins, offered by Craft Stash, and um, this is the Nordic Christmas sentiments and tags. And I'll link everything individually that's still available in the description box. This is again a new. Uh, lineup that came out as far as the Christmas items that Luke Collins designed there. Oh my goodness, look how nice and big this tag is. So I'm just going to show you a little bit of it because again I'll make a video tutorial very soon. The tag, this tag is about six inches tall as far as the metal of it and then the width it is like three and almost three and a half. A little bit smaller than that. And this one's almost three inches wide by about just over five inches tall. And then there's different pieces that go along with that. There's words in here, the word wishes, um, Merry Christmas, and then festive wishes. Of course, those are their own word die. And then we have these guys that are like plates. And then we have like this portion here that looks like maybe an inlay. Oh, yeah. Look at how cute is that. Oh, my gosh. So what they're showing you here is that. And then maybe paired up with this. And it has like a little inlay with that Nordic feel, like kind of ugly sweater, feral kind of feel. Um, these plates, which are really nice size, festive, merry, wishes, and Christmas. And then, of course, the words that we had seen. And then, oh, look at this label. Really nice size. Lots of fun things to do with that set. So keep an eye out, like I said, for those videos. Right now, I'm just kind of showing you these items. Uh, this one I just fell in love with. It's a three-piece die set. It's a panel die set, and it's called Nordic Panels or Nordic Christmas. And you guys super detailed and I just oh my gosh hold on let me open this up and you know I didn't know that I knew the size I guess these are five by seven these are some big plates of course you can use this on any size paper you just have your smaller paper or however but um oh sorry it's three dies two plates three piece die set okay so we have these two guys this one would um I believe go on top of that one because usually the one that's less detailed is the uh, plate that you'd use below and this detailed one goes above it and then we have just a separate die that cuts just a regular 5x7 uh, piece. Now let me make sure that is 5x7. Um, it's actually a little bit larger than that. Wow, nice big plates. Look at that. Sorry that I misspoke on that one. Three piece set. Okay, and then this is the Nordic Christmas Nordic Stag A5 stamp and die set. Just super beautiful. And then it has the dies that are separate from the stamp there. So just a lot of ways to play that up. If you want to then you know, die cut something and place it there. They basically, I think, inlay, like, match up perfectly as far as the sizing. But let's just make sure on that. 
you can see. So then you can cut that separate, cut it out. It'll still have some of the little snowflakes on there or add a piece on top or double it up, you know, kind of decoupage it and that guy too. Really nice size on the stamp and it is a, I believe it's an acrylic stamp. Let's see here. Yeah, it doesn't say, but it feels like acrylic to me. And it is just over five inches tall like that one is and uh, three and a half ish in the width same thing with this one which is about five a little over five inches and again about four inches tall so it's just a really nice topper for your card or whatever it is that you want to create with it and then the last piece that I have with this texture is this one this is so cute 3d Christmas tree nine piece die set so let's open this guy up and this little die, I don't know if you can see, well, you know, there's not a picture of it on here. Again, I will make a tutorial. I'm just kind of showing you some of these different lineups they have. You know, you, I've um, tried out Simply Made Crafts. Excuse me, things from like Card Making Magic. Those are all craft stash like exclusive lineups. But look at this die. So what happens is you bring this over and over and over and it makes a little tree that's like three-sided, but it looks almost like a jewel, the way it's like beveled, it, really cute, super adorable, not super tall, obviously it has some profile to it, but it's not that big, I guess you would say it's as thick as this really, um, this area, that'd be the base bottom of it, super cute, um, let me see, just so you guys have that info right now, it is just over 11 inches tall, or long, like 11 and a half, and the width, I'm trying to see the large, widest point, might be 7 inches, okay, from like that piece to here. And then it has all these little pieces that you can decorate with, pop them in there, make it like a little lantern, or, you know, just for the decoration of it, all these different little pieces, uh, inlays. And some of those inlays make, you know, like a whole snowflake, like if you use that as an inlay, you can also use it as a snowflake die, so it'll cut out snowflakes for you. Okay, so that's the texture stuff. And then I think when I had placed the order, um, this came uh, free that day. Because Craft Test does that sometimes. They're like, oh, if you order this, you get something free. Or if you want to um, add on whatever free thing they might have that day, you know, it's there. So this one was free when you purchased some of these items. So that's why this is here, I believe. Um, it's the Jack Frost Random Winter Words and Snowflakes Gray Board Set. And as you see, the pieces have kind of popped out. But you have all these gray board pieces that you can just junk out and have fun with. So that's kind of what the textures line is about. It's um, a little more eclectic and just like grungy and fun like that. Let me grab, oh, some Simply Made Crafts so items. So from the Simply Made Crafts items, I had chosen some of these new things that they brought out for uh, Christmas, Christmas in July. Oh, how cute. You know I love a good cracker. So this is the Geo Christmas Cracker Die Set uh, by Helen Griffin. And this is the Small Wreath Box Die Set. I was very curious of how this gets created. And it just looks so cute. And I don't know if it's like compartments or quarters or halves or however this is done here. So let's take a quick look at this. And then I grabbed the paper pack that coordinates with it as far as Christmas uh, papers but so if you can kind of see in here the different dies just like that I showed here we have all these cute little berries and um, pine cones and like poinsettia little flowers again holly here all these different things and then the little greenery so really cute I mean you can use that for anything uh, but you can also obviously decorate your little uh, wreath box with it so I'm really really looking forward to trying this out for you guys how cute is that it looks like that might be the divider piece in between so we will definitely check that out and again these are smaller pieces you know if you have a smaller die cutting machine I'll just quickly measure like this guy is five and a half inches tall but maybe maybe three inches wide you know I'm just kind of looking at all of them generically this one's a little bit longer, but as far as the width, right, is what's really important for smaller machines. So we have that. This one, uh, again, the Geo Christmas Cracker, I just thought was so cute. So let's check this out. And it's a nice big die, so let's measure that for you guys. Um, the metal to metal edge looks like it's just over, se uh, just seven inches, about seven inches there. And the other direction, metal to metal edge is, I would say eight and an eighth just over an eight inches as you can see there so one die run it through and it looks like um yeah that's that's it i don't even think you do two of them really cool we will definitely check that out though because you know just in case but look how it looks all geometric that's why it's the geo <laughs> cracker it has all those different um facets i think that's really lovely little tag little trees uh it looks like a snowflake maybe a little yeah, a little holly berry. Super cute. Very excited to try this guy out. 
And then some papers. I don't, I don't know that I have any Simply Made Crafts papers. So let's check this out. This is a 12 by 12 paper pack called Holly Jolly Christmas. And let me just see as far as the weight on that. Hope I can get it back in this packaging. Uh, let's see here. So just trying out some of these things from Craft Stash, the different lineups. Uh, 250 GSM paper, so that's a pretty good weight, right, for pattern paper. So let's check that out. Oh yeah. Oh, you can make something with this. This is nice. Because, you know, a lot of times I use like 300 GSM paper for like box bases. So this is just slightly thinner than that. And I mean, look how pretty that is. That watercolor poinsettia. Look at the tree line. That looks so pretty. A little forest there. The holly on this one. White on the back. Very different with that colorway. Super cute though. I mean, it's like hot pink and neon greens. Really, really nice. The cute little holly berries on here. Are those holly? No, those are just like berries, huh? <laughs> and then this one. Look how pretty this is. Oh my goodness. You guys know I always say get two packs, so I am definitely going to grab another pack. Um, look at this. That beautiful wash. And then this one with the poinsettias all around. And then I think it repeats. Is that where we started? I feel like that's where we started. Yeah. So. Uh, 24 single-sided sheets. 12 inch. So I'm assuming those were 12 designs and then it repeats again. Wow. So pretty. But I was going to say, I feel like there's almost three. Maybe I'm just, yeah, just seeing them. But there's a couple of each. All right. So we will definitely try those out. Super cute. Um, I did grab a couple things that were more like basic items. So these are created by uh, Creative Craft Products. Again, a craft stash uh, lineup. And this is the scoreboard and envelope box maker with scoring tool, it says. And you can see it has three pieces, which is that little corner piece that helps you like with your envelopes, I believe. Um, a bone folder, and then it has the scoreboard. And I believe, again, I'll do a whole review, but this is, I think it has up to 12 inches. Uh, you know, it doesn't really say on this outside part. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, 12 inches, sorry, I was just looking at that. Um, so we have that. And then uh, this was like a bundle that came with this gift box maker. And it has like a little stylus here with this board. It has um, with ball tool and acetate guide. And basically this helps you make pillow boxes, milk cartons, gift boxes, and more. So I'll just show it to you really quickly. Just so you kind of have an idea of what this is. As far as, like I said, this was a bundle. It has some info here. And basically everything's etched in there. So what you would do is you place your stuff there your paper and i mean wow so you can follow along with your tool and that's how you would end up making the lines and then you cut right so this is um just handmade all handmade i was curious about that that is so cute i love that little pattern okay so i'll put that back in there. that little tool feels really nice too it has like a nice rubber grip and then one other thing i wanted to pick up or try out for you guys that's just um it just has everything for like to make pop-ups or pop-out type things so this is a bundle um, made to surprise by Sam Calcott and um, I see these really nice big uh, stamps in here I mean I, I did not expect look how big that is it's like as big as my hand and then we have some uh, the dies that go along with that so we're going to cut everything out. You have your dies there. This one has happy birthday. You said yes. I um, mean, hooray for Sorry, today. Just reading some of these uh, on here. Enjoy your new home and creating happy memories. Uh, you passed with flying colors. Uh, have a wheelie awesome day. My happy place is my home and garden. You know, all these different things. A little plaque here. Um, so that's just a stamp set that was in the bundle. Uh, but it happens to be called Modern Sentiments. This is the Modern Alphabet. So again, you can just stamp whatever you like with this alpha. And then um, this. Oh, and this feels heavy. There are a lot of dies in here. So this is a simple pop-ups mechanism die set. So this is 11 dies. They feel heavy, so let's see why it feels so heavy. <laughs> oh, that's because they're plates. Oh my gosh. So... In here are all kinds of things that you can do pop-ups. So like this will be in the middle of your card. When you open it, it kind of comes up or however. This one does like the different uh, levels, maybe some lettering, whatever you might want to place on there to make like a scene. These are like the little boxes, I think, that you can make that help you uh, pop things up. So there's lots of different ways to make things pop up, right? Different mechanisms. So this is just a ton of different mechanisms that are in here that will help you do that in different sizing. So definitely keep an eye out. I will have a tutorial for you guys. I mean, look at these guys. Ooh. 
So this guy, you kind of just fold it and put it in the middle of the card, and this is glued to the base, so when you open it, it's there. So hopefully you can kind of imagine that. But thank you so much, Craft Session and Designs, for review, for offering the uh, giveaway. You guys will have the link to the giveaway in the description box. Just pop in there. It's um, right under the video. It's usually under the video, or you can click on the title, or click Show More, or click the arrow, or like the little carrot. There's always something that expands the title, that area, or Show More. Sometimes it's something you can press, and it'll take you to the description box. It'll open it up. And you can click on the link and pop over. I'll have the individual links for the items. And thank you so much, Crossdash, again. This is really, really nice um, and really nice of them to offer. So good luck, guys, and I'll see you all at the next one. Bye now.